Yes. The car races are today, they're every day. You place a bit of 100 gil land on your favorite cow. You get to bet on which cow do you want. So, um... Personally, I like the orange cow, because orange is my favorite color. So I have an odds of 8 to 1 to win. So let's just bet on our orange cow, and... This is one of the most bullshit things I've ever seen in an, in a game. And you're probably going to ask me, is this how fast they go throughout the whole thing? How long is the track? The track is very long. And yes, this is as fast as they go. They might even take slower. They, they might even go slower. This is intense! Oh my god, my cow's gonna win! Okay, I'm gonna speed this up. Oh my god, I won the race! Okay, so... Welcome back, everybody! I won the race, I won the cow races, and... Wasn't that exciting, by the way? Y you know that was, you know that was just sweating, I was just sweating right there, seriously. Oh, I'll pass, sir. My, your, your races are way too exciting for me, I'm sorry, seriously. Um, maybe next time, um... Maybe next time when I... Because I was so adrenaline, I was just filled with adrenaline here, um, so I don't know what to say. I really don't. Oh yeah, world map. <laughs> Alright then, after a uh, cow race in the fields of Foom, we are going to head to Celepation Cave. Now, Celepation Cave is one interesting area. Listen, and also listen to my tone of voice, which is actually slightly changed right now. We're gonna see the intro. The wind is strong here. Legend has it, that from this cave, each and every gust of wind is born. I wonder why the wind here chills my face. It must have been born just moments ago. Perhaps it will blow across the land, growing warmer with each memory it gathers. The wind then plays its part by carrying those memories everywhere it goes. And once it is finished, here it shall return. So now we have arrived at Celepation Cave once more. Celepation Cave is, as you guessed it, a gigantic cave. Holding a, a bunch of ice-based enemies and also holding an, a bunch of enemies that are weakened by ice. Now what I'm going to do here is a little weird. I'm going to unequip my dual shooter because I'm going to do what I mentioned in the game as I already gotten my I've already got my blizzard ring off screen so and I'm also going to put my blizzard ring over my dual shooter shooter yes thus making something called an ice strike now in this game 
using ice-based attacks on an enemy after you freeze them and after you attack them, you will cause massive damage after you attack an enemy that's frozen. In this case, using an ice strike will cause two hits. And if, and if you remember what I told you, after you strike an enemy after it's fro if you strike an enemy after it's frozen, it does massive damage. So you're technically doing one massive damage hit, and you also cause a status problem on the enemy. It's a really nice trade-off, and it, it almost makes this game, br I mean, makes this weapon broken. I'm just right now doing massive damage on this enemy. This enemy normally takes a lot of hits too. It's a very, it's a powerhouse, but uh, these gigantic stag beetles are weakened. Oh dang it! Yes, they are also. They are uh, the gigantic stag, be stag beetles are weakened by. Oh man, they're weakened by any magicite, so you don't need to worry about those. But I'm not gonna keep the broken ability because it's too powerful, and I want to have a struggle here. So I'm gonna equip. My, I'm gonna equip back my dual shooter. Uh, dual shooter. That's kind of hard to say, actually. I don't know why. Dual shooter. Mind crush. And these are bees. Killer bees, I like to call them. They are very fast, and they also do damage and hits. If you don't use gravity on them, they will be tough to fight. Let's get the stone of fire right here because fire is also a weakness for many enemies in this area in particular. Because the more you delve deeper into this cave, the more you'll find enemies that are very weakened by fire. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Thank you. And as you soon notice right there, I just opened the door by striking two little things. I don't even I don't even know what they are, like little crystals or something. The reason why I'm heading back because there's also you can take two roads. This is something that I very dislike in this game because it has a very it has a bunch of multiple roads opening up to you. And for me, uh, me being an LP or for this, I have to show off every single road. So expect me to do a lot of cutting in this area in, in particular because this is not cool. Take this guy out. You're down for the count B. Never liked you. And let's just burn you. These stag uh, these beetles have are are weakened by magicite in general, so but they're not flint but they cannot flinch against a normal attack. So mm, trade off. And here's another cave. I'm gonna explore this whole area, so I'm gonna be cutting back. Alright, so now we're back at the door. Because we like things in the doors that blocks away, and this is a new enemy that causes Cursaga or Cursra. But they give us Mithril. That is something that we need. I'll take that, thank you. Mithril from these gigantic lizard men is very nice to have. It's just an awesome thing to have, and these beetles are not very powerful, but we don't really need to worry about them unless they're in groups. So, let's keep on going up here, and how am I going to provide commentary for this whole area? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going at this at random, so there's a bee, and I'll show you what I mean. These guys are kind of tough to fight because they do that and it stuns you, check them again, stuns you, check them again, stuns you. They're kind of hard to fight without the gravity spell. So... It's kind of a, it's almost a requirement. I, it's really mean. We'll just take you out. These are the same lizard men from Bellu, so we don't need to worry about these. And this is a stupid little puzzle, you know. Just if you hit, you have to have both of them. Eventually, when you do multiplayer, you have to make sure you strike them all at the same time. And a more lizard men. The uh, the fanfics are writing out their stories right now. Oh god, that is disgusting, my friend. And here's a gigantic lizard man, lizard man, who enjoys to cast curse Ra or something, and he can't see me after I hit his buddy. Wow, that is intense. Would you give us a chunk of alloy? Yes, thanks. The also also the beetles also have a gigantic stab attack, which allows them to annoy you even more. It pushes you back really far, and I do not want to get hit by it because I'm pretty sure it'll cost it'll do a whole heart of damage. And they also give you heart shells. 
Hard shells are very are worthless right now, but later on they are used to make diamond armor. So you can keep you can hold on to them for now, but uh, be warned that you won't use them for a while. <laughs> 